ever wondered about why we're here? Why did God create me? What am I doing here? What is the purpose of man? Have you ever asked those questions? Let's discuss. All right, guys. So as I asked before the intro, I bet you may have asked yourself this question, you know, sometime in the past, or even if you haven't asked it yourself, you may have heard or seen somebody who has asked this question before. So what is the purpose of man? And by the way, when I say man, I'm also talking about women, basically humankind. What is our purpose on this earth? And I know that many times, especially in Christian circles, whenever you ask this question, people always say God created us to worship him. God created us to worship him. And many times people say this and it's like it settles the, the, the case. But what if I tell you that the Bible doesn't really say that? that there's no scripture in the Bible. When you do a word study on worship, there is no clear cut scripture that actually says that God made man to worship him. That the sole purpose of man is to worship God. It's, it's nowhere in the Bible. If you do a search for the word worship, you know, the first time the word worship was actually mentioned is in Genesis 22 verse 5. And this was the time where Abraham and Isaac were going to sacrifice on the mountain. And Abraham basically was telling his servant that, wait here, I am going to go ahead to the mountain with Isaac. And there we will worship God. Now, and if you do a search for the word worship, depending on which um, version of the Bible, you may have about 189 to 200 instances of worship. And you don't find any of the scripture saying, this is the purpose of man. Now, don't get me wrong. I am not saying we don't worship God, but I'm talking about the purpose of man on this earth. All right. And oftentimes people who reference, who talk about worship as being the key purpose of man, what they do is they for instance, reference John 4, 23 and 20, 24, where Jesus was talking to the woman at the well. And Jesus said, a time is coming when men and women, of course, shall worship the Father in truth and in spirit. But they forget that within the context of that statement, Jesus was basically talking to the woman who basically accused Jesus that, you Jews say that the only place to worship God is in Jerusalem. And Jesus said, woman, well, you don't know what, what you worship. But the time is coming when we will worship the Father in truth and in spirit. So the context had nothing to do with the answering the question of the purpose of man. All right. So I hope you this kind of settles it in your mind but so let's go into the bible and see where it says something about the purpose of man let's go all the way into the time of creation so enter genesis chapter 1 verse 26 because it's important to see what did god say should be the purpose of man what did god himself say when he created man the Bible says in Genesis chapter 1, verse 20, it says, it said, And God said, Let us create man. Let us make man in our image after our likeness. And let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the fowl of the air. Basically, the God was saying, Let us make man in our image and likeness. And let us give him dominion. This is the mission statement of God himself stating why he's creating man. What he's creating man to do. To image God, that's one. And two, to have dominion over the earth. This is really important. Now let's fast forward into to Micah 6 verse 8. Where the Bible says, it says, 
He has shown thee, O man, what is good and what the Lord requires of you. Listen to it carefully. He has shown you, O man, what is good and what the Lord requires of you. To do justly, to love mercy, and to walk humbly with your God. Now remember, if somebody is hiring someone, they will say, these are the things I require of you in this position. So God himself, after the fall of man in Micah 6, 8, is saying, I, God, have shown you, man, what I require of you. And what I require of you is what is good. Now remember, the first time God said anything was good was in the Garden of Eden, before the fall of man. So, we, between those, these two scriptures, we see God stating specifically five things that describes what the purpose of man on the earth is. Now, this is something that I have put together and called the God-given purpose continuum. The God-given purpose continuum. And this is basically how I describe what I believe is the purpose of man on this earth. So as you can see in here, in the center, the core of it, which is what the God said in the Garden of Eden, let us make man who will image us, who will be like us, who will represent God on the earth. That's one. And two, he will have dominion over the earth. So you see that at the core of this continuum is a core purpose. Now, at the fall of man, these things have to be done within three parameters. The first one is to do justly, to deal with other people from a place of justice. And you cannot really do justly or implement justice without attaching mercy to it. You have to implement and do justice or, or administer justice by attaching mercy mercy as well and you do all of that in continuation of that by walking humbly with your god so this three things i believe are the things that help us as fallen men who have been redeemed by god by jesus's blood to come into imaging god and having dominion over the earth. And I believe that this is the key purpose. These five things demonstrate the key purpose of man on this earth. Now you may say, how can I do this? We cannot do these things on our own. God, man, man in the fallen state cannot do it on our own. This is where Jesus comes in to enable and strengthen us to be able to do justly, love mercy, and walk humbly with him. So friend, I hope somehow this helped answer the question for you. What is my purpose on this earth? All right. You know, I may have skipped some scriptures or something that I may not have mentioned about worship or anything like that if you have scriptures like that that you have in mind please feel free to put them in the comments because i'd like to see if i've skipped anything but i believe this is where the bible itself kind of states what the purpose of man what your purpose is which you've been wondering about and seeking and wondering this is where the bible kind of shows us and teaches us what god is called us or who god is called us to be to image him, to be his representatives, to be his ambassadors on this earth. And we can only do that by loving justice, loving mercy, and walking in humility with our God. So friend, I hope this blessed. If it did, don't forget to share it. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And until next time, peace.